Welcome to Boot Spy. My name is William, and today we got ourselves a boot battle. In this corner, the Timberland Classic Premium, and in this corner, the Doc Martin 1460. I'm gonna compare these two head to head, talk about what I like, what I don't like, and ultimately, which of these two boots is the best for your money. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and also give me a thumbs up. Both are super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. As I said today, we're taking a look at the Timberland Premium and the Doc Martin 1460. So these are two very iconic boots. These might be the two most popular boots in America right now. Uh, so I figured I'd just put them head to head and see which one comes out on top. Let's start off by talking about the style of these two boots. First up, we got the Timberland Premium, and this is in the classic wheat nubuck color. It has that you know iconic color right here, uh, very a suede-like texture. It's got the black padded cuff, two-toned outsole, and then the contrasting white stitching along the side here. The Doc Martin 1460, on the other hand, is much more of a combat boot uh, compared to the Timberland's like uh, construction boot aesthetic. Uh, so it comes in a flat matte black leather. And then it has this kind of almost translucent sole at the bottom. And of course, the iconic yellow stitching. That's how you know this is a Doc Martin. Uh, unlike any other boot, this is a, just a one of a kind. Also very, very, uh, you can see, you know, across the street, you know whether someone's wearing a pair of Doc, Doc Martens, just like you would with somebody wearing a pair of Timberlands. Both of these boots, you know, you got the combat boot here, more the construction boot on this side. They both fit into a rugged, casual style for guys. Um, but for my money, the point for best style goes to Timberland because ultimately I just like this aesthetic a little bit more. I'm not a huge fan of the translucent sole and I also just don't really like all black combat boots. It's just not my personal style. So I'm gonna give the point to Timberland for style. Next up, let's compare the leathers of these two boots. Now the Doc Martin 1460 is made with a corrected grain leather. They say it's full grain, uh, but basically what this means is it is super sanded down. So it's very, very smooth and you can't see any grain on this boot at all. And so it has this very matte, flat black appearance. Uh, basically what this leather is ultimately the breakdown is it's very, very thin and it, I don't believe this is gonna last a super long time. I could see this lasting about you know 18 months or so, but even if you treat it, it's just so thin that I can't really see it lasting for a really beyond two years. The Timberland Premium, on the other hand, this is made with wheat nubuck, and that nubuck basically has a very suede-like texture. Maybe you can see right there, it's kind of that. So it's a very suede-like texture. And ultimately, this leather is not great either, but it's definitely a lot thicker than the uh, Doc Martens, and it's gonna last longer than 18 months. I put this at probably about three years. There's plenty of people who have had their Timberlands for like five, six, seven years. I'm assuming they don't wear them super, super often. I'm talking more like just daily wear. But ultimately, like I'm not crazy about the Timberland leather, but when you compare it to the Doc Martin 1460, it is much, much better. So the point for best leather goes to Timberland. Let's look at the sole of these two boots. The Timberland Premium has a grip stick, heavy rubber lug sole. Uh, this does really well in the winter, especially we had a, a snowstorm out here and we had a bunch of rain. This performs really well in the winter, so it's a great winter boot when you include the fact that it is waterproof. The Doc Martin, on the other hand, has its classic airwear translucent sole. You can kind of see some of the inner workings of the boot right there. But um, it, this is actually surprisingly Goodyear welted and Doc Martin makes their boots in a really, really interesting manner where this outsole right here and the welt is actually melted together. So they take this, this it, it's so strange, but this is kind of like a rubber welt um, and then they basically melt it and fuse these two parts together and that's why you kind of get a gradient there. But they fuse those two parts together and essentially what that means is for both of these boots, really hard to resole. You can find people who will do it, but usually like, you know, for a boot that's under $200, it's almost never worth it to get like a full sole reconstruction. So I'm gonna say both of these are not resolable, even though the Doc Martin is a Goodyear welt. One of the biggest differences between the soles here is that the Doc Martin does not have a shank in the middle of it, whereas the Timberland Premiums have a steel shank. That just helps a lot 
uh, if you have flat feet or if you just need a little extra arch support. Both of these boots have really, really excellent shock absorption. So if you stand on your feet all day, uh, they actually, they're both pretty comfortable in that situation. Like if you're not doing a ton of walking, but you're really just standing a lot. They're both very cushiony. I would say they both have about the same amount of like durability in the sole. They're probably gonna last about the same time because they're kind of a nice mix between soft rubber and harder rubber. So no real big durability issues there. But I do think uh, overall, the better sole between these, when you get the steel shank in the midsole, and then you also have the grip stick rubber, which is just slightly performs better in winter cold weather. Uh, then I'm gonna give the point for the best sole to the Timberland. Right now, not looking good for old Doc Martin. It's three to zero, but let's see if they can make it back in a discussion on durability. So I've kind of already talked about this a little bit, but when you're comparing these two and just seeing which one's gonna last longer, uh, the fact that the Doc Martin has really, really thin leather, that's not a great sign. Uh, it cannot be resold, so it really doesn't have uh, any sort of leg up on the Timberland. So the most durable boot between these is definitely the Timberland Premium. For comfort, as I said, both of these boots are really, really comfortable to stand on for long periods of time. When it comes to walking, I think maybe the Timberland has a little bit of an edge because it does have extra arch support from that steel shank. But uh, if you're just, you know, most people don't walk four or five miles a day. So that probably doesn't make too much of a difference. Neither of them have a break-in period really to speak of. They're both very, very easy break-in periods. Um, but I think the biggest difference is that Doc Martens, at least for men, uh, they only come in full sizes. So like nine, 10, 11, 12, et cetera. Whereas the Timberland Premium, it comes in you know half sizes, nine and a half, 10, 10 and a half, comes in wide sizes. And then it goes all the way up, I think to like size 17 or 18, like just a huge array of sizes. So for comfort, I'm gonna give the point to Timberland Premium. I know what you're thinking in your mind, you're saying, is this gonna be the first boot battle blowout in history? Who knows, let's talk about the price. So I have the uh, 1460 here, and this one is not the made in England version. So it's $150 new retail. And then the Timberland Premium, that's $199, just right under 200 if you buy full price new. Both of these, I think you can find comparable discounts uh, at shoe retailers um, because they're both really, really popular. You're gonna find these in stores, any mall, the next nearest mall to you, they're gonna have probably both of these boots. So there's a good chance you can find either on so sale, but ultimately the best price is is obviously the Doc Martin 1460, so they get their first point. So which of these two boots should you get? If you can't tell by the score already, the best boot between these two that you should get is the Timberland Premium. I don't think the Doc Martin 1460 is necessarily like a bad boot. I just think for, you know, when you're looking at something $150, if you just jump up to $200, you can get much, much better quality. And I'm talking about like Thursday Boots or Oliver Cabell. Um, those are brands where, yeah, it's, it's $50 more expensive, but the quality is going to last you several more years. It's gonna age better, it's gonna look better, uh, and it's just overall a much more mature boot. Of course, if you're looking for a black combat boot with yellow stitching, but there's nothing else, this is the one that you get. I'm not saying that it's a terrible boot for $150. I just think $150, the materials they have to use to keep that low price point, it's just not, it's just not great, especially this leather. It's gonna crack. I've seen so many pictures online where right here starts to crack after people wear it for you know eight, nine, ten months. It starts to crack here, and it's just because the leather is super thin. So I'm not a really big fan of this boot. I don't think it's terrible, but um, you spend an extra fifty dollars and you get something that's like vastly better. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, put your best boot forward.